everyone and welcome back to Grace Crochets. For today's video, I have a fanny pack tutorial for you guys. I'll open it and show you guys how it works. Just like that. Um, and how this tutorial is going to go is I'm going to show you guys how I did the individual granny squares. You only need four of them for, for this entire project. And then I'm going to show you guys how I made the strap here and how I attached it to the fanny pack um, and how I did the adjustable strap over here. And then I'm just going to explain the zipper to you guys right now um, because I don't have another one to show you guys how exactly I sewed it on, but I did just sew it. Nothing super special. You can get these types of zippers pretty much from your local, any local craft store. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. Um, you just unzip it. You can see, maybe you can see, where I sewed it. I'm no professional, as you can see, obviously, but it doesn't have to be anything fancy for this. Um, I just used some thread and a needle that I had laying around the house, sewed it on, and it worked out perfect. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, you're going to start off your granny square with a magic circle. How I like to do mine is I will lay my yarn across my fingers like so. Wrap it around my fingers. Go under and pull up my working yarn. And I'll chain one. Now this chain one does not count as anything. It's just meant to hold the magic circle together. Um, but to get started, you're going to place three double crochets. And how I like to start off a round um, with a double crochet, so I'll draw up my loop, I'll wrap the loop around my yarn like so, insert my hook into this big circle and draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two loops. That's how I like to start off a round with a double crochet. Um, if you don't like to do it this way, you can do it also as a chain two and have that count as a double crochet. But let's do our other two double crochets. Here's our second. And our third. All right. Now let's chain three. One, two, three. Then place three more double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. Place three more double crochets. Here is one, two, and three. Now chain three again. One, two, three. Now place three more double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. Now three more chains. One, two, three. Then you can finish off this round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round. And then once you finish off your round, you can take your tail end of your yarn, and pull it tight. You've just finished your first round and can begin on round two. To begin on round two, here, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. To begin on round two, we're gonna place a double crochet into the very stitch that we're working in. And again, you can either do this by chaining two and have that represent a double crochet, or you can do what I do, which is draw up your loop, wrap it around your hook, 
insert your hook where we need our double crochet, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through the next two. Okay, and into um, each of the next two stitches, place one double crochet. One, and here's our second. Okay, and now here is our corner to our granny square that we just made. Now for every single corner, we are going to do the same exact pattern, and that is two double crochets, chain three, then place two more double crochets all into the corner. And I'll show you guys for this round. So yarn over and place two double crochets. Here's my first and my second. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now within this same corner space, we're gonna place two more double crochets. One, and two. Okay, and into each of the next three double crochets from the last round, we are going to place one double crochet. So here is one, two, and three. Okay, and here is our corner again, so we're going to do our same pattern of two double crochets, chain three, then place two more double crochets. One, two double crochets, chain three, and two more double crochets, all into the same corner space. All right, and again, into each of the next three double crochets from the last round, we're going to place one double crochet. There's one, two, and three. And we are in another corner space, so we're going to do the same pattern. Two double crochets, one, and two, chain three, one, two, three, and two double crochets. One, and two. All right, and into each of the next three double crochets, we are going to place one double crochet. One, two, and three. And we've reached another corner space, so we're going to do the same exact pattern. Two double crochets. One, two, then chain three. One, two, three, and then two more double crochets. One, and two. Okay, and then you're ready to finish off your round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet of your round. Now you can begin on round three, which is gonna be pretty much exactly the same as round two. But if you've noticed, we have increased by four double crochets on each face of your square. That's gonna remain consistent for the entirety of this project. So I'll go ahead and do one more round with you guys. You're going to start off your round with a double crochet into the exact let's focus into the exact stitch that you are currently working in. And again, you can either do a chain two and have that represent a double crochet, or do it how I like to do it, like so. Now you're going to work one, two, three, four double crochets until you get to this corner over here. Here's one, two, three, and four. 
we have reached our corner space and this pattern remains the same for the entirety of this project. Um, so within this chain space, place two double crochets, one, two, then chain three, one, two, three, then place two double crochets, one, and two. Okay, now for the entire face of this square, you're going to place one double crochet into each stitch, and that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have reached our corner space. So we're going to do two double crochets, one and two, then chain three, then two more double crochets into the same corner space. Now we're going to work down this face of our square, placing seven more double crochets, one in each stitch. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have reached our corner space once again. I'm going to repeat the same pattern. One, two, oops, just two. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Okay, and then chain three. One, two, three. Then two double crochets. One, two. Then seven more double crochets, one in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have reached our last corner space. We're going to do the same corner pattern. Two double crochets, chain three, one, two, three, and two more double crochets. All right, it looks like we have to place one more double crochet right here to finish off our round. Okay, then we can finish off our round with a slip stitch. And that is the entirety, the pattern for each of the granny squares. You're just gonna repeat that, um, working down the face of each square, doing the corner pattern, working down the same face, corner pattern, same thing, until you have the size um, granny square that you want for your project. And like I said, you only need four granny squares show you guys how I touched them. So here's one and then half of one on each side. They're just folded over and another one over here. I just connected them, these two on their bottom right there and these two down the side. Now once you've done that, I did line the outside on the very top with single crochets after I had tied everything together. I'm not gonna show that, it's really, really simple. You just work down the top side of your granny squares like so. And it looks like I did two rounds. And I had started it right here. You can probably tell 
if I can focus in on there. Um, but I had started right there, worked around two rounds, and then stopped. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish my little granny square example, and I'm going to show you guys how I did the adjustable straps. All right, once you have all of your granny squares completed and connected however you see fit, and then this line um, or this border on top, um, you can begin working on the strap. But I'm going to show you guys this one first, how I connected it over here. And then how I made this little loop here for the strap to go through for it to be adjustable. But we'll do, go ahead and do this one first. I'm just going to do an example one for you guys here with my granny square that I just made. Let's zoom in. Okay, let's go ahead and do this side. Okay, so you're going to take whatever color you're going to use for your strap. You're going to start off inserting your hook. I'm going to make sure it's focused. Right here. So you can see right here are all the corner spaces from your granny square. You're going to insert your hook at this double crochet just to the right of that corner space. You're going to yarn over with the color that you're going to use for the strap. Pull it through. I yarn over with both layers of yarn from my tail end and my working end. And I will chain one. This chain one doesn't count as anything. It's just to start off in place. Okay? Then I do the same thing when I start off with a double crochet draw up my loop a little bit, yarn over, insert my hook into the same exact space that we just um, inserted our yarn, draw up a loop, yarn over, and place a double crochet. Now again, you can also do this with um, just chaining two. Okay, into that same space, we're going to place two more double crochets. Here's one and two. And we're going to work down this side of our granny square, placing seven more double crochets for a total of ten. Now there's no exact place um, that you need to place your double crochets since we're going to be kind of working in a funky area, but you want to have them spaced out relatively the same. Um, so I'm just going to place this one here. Here's my fourth. Let's do another in there. Fifth. I'll go in here. Here's my sixth. Seventh. Let's go here. Eighth. Ninth, and we'll go here. Tenth. Okay, so I had ten double crochets for my strap, and then you're just going to turn your work. Your work will look something similar to this, and then you're essentially just going to go row after row with double crochets. So I, I start my rows off with my double crochets like this. But again, you can do a chain two. Here's one, two, three, and then you do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way across. Then flip it back over and do row after row after row after row. Okay, and that is how I did this first strap here. Okay, now for this strap over here, for the adjustable um, strap, you start it off doing the exact same thing. You're going to work your way down the side, 
placing 10 double crochets. And then you are going to chain um, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, turn your work. So now we're working on this side. You're going to place a slip stitch into the first double crochet right here. If I can, let's see, there we go. All right, place a slip stitch. Okay, turn your work again. So now it looks like that. And within this, oops, within this big circle right here, we're gonna place 10 double crochets. Here is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and then for the last one, I'm always sure to insert it here instead of in this big space. I should have mentioned that beforehand, but I'll insert it on the very end right here. Okay. That way it keeps them kind of spread out. But that hole is going to act... Um, as the space for the strap to insert itself into um, to make itself adjustable. And here is my strap that starts at the other end. Okay. And you can see, here, zoom out a lot more. You can see my whole strap. You can see about a little under halfway to this uh, end of the strap. I started making these holes in the strap. Now, these holes are what, um, are what make it adjustable in size. And how you do that is you'll just place four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets, and then you will continue across with 10 double crochets, placing two double crochets in the chain space, which is super, super easy. But you're going to make this strap however big that, or small that you need to make it. I'm pretty averagely built. Um, this is approximately how big I made mine. Now, I suggest putting a button on the end of your clip or on the end of your strap. I had one and it fell victim to my dog over the weekend. So, you guys can see here I have no button. But you would have a button there. And so, you just insert it into your little strap thing you made. And then you would poke your button through one of these holes. Or, if you don't want to add a button, you can just pull your strap through one of the holes. That makes it adjustable. But yeah, that's the entire tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more.